Hi everybody, uh, my name is Azid. I posting this video based on the recent poll that I did on the title splitting group on Facebook that I run, um, asking basically the the members as to what we should cover this week in terms of a video and content. And out of um, a few options, um, i.e. deal analyzer, how to create one and what, what, what are the components, what is my free R model, which is refurb, refinance and recycle your cash? What's, the, what's next for the UK housing market? What are the process of buying at auctions? How to raise private finance from investors? And also what are the new proposed C, CGT means to us as landlords? Out of those topics, the one that got the most votes uh, from the members were asking around how to create deal analyzers. So how do you create them? What are they used for? And uh, hopefully the next video, uh, over the next mini videos, I will share with you how to create one, what do they use, what, what, what's their main usage? And also more importantly, I'll walk you through an actual uh, nine step deal analyzer that I created for one of the title splitting projects that I conducted um, last year and show you the components of those. So I guess the first question to ask is why is it important to model out? Why do I do it? Why do a lot of businesses uh, create models to work out what's gonna happen uh, in advance of it happening? Okay, the, the most obvious reason is basically we want to see and figure out what's gonna happen in the future. Should we get into this deal and do the um, proposed works of refurbishment, title splits, uh, conversions, uh, whatever the strategy is in any of those projects. So I use it personally to give me a massive reassurance about the f what the likely future will look like. It's based on assumptions, it's based on uh, knowledge and experience, but ultimately it is all about the ingredients that you put into the model that then produces information for me that then shapes my approach and also my strategy on each and every deal. So the reason why I model is basically it gives me clarity of thought because I would have gone through and I'll show you in the next video um, what the logic of my thinking is from the time I start looking at something, buying it, refurbishing it, refinancing and title splitting, etc, etc. So, um, but I wanted to kind of put this short video to explain the reason why I believe modeling and uh, creating deal analyzers is absolutely critical for us to be able to ensure that A, we're going to be profitable, B, we understand what the challenges and the pinch point might be based on the assumptions we make, i.e. if the market goes up, goes down, the price we pay, the amount of refurbishment cost uh, it might cost and the range, having a contingency amount in it. So all of these will help us be able to figure out whether a deal will stack up to what the level of profits and um, outputs we want to achieve.